What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So this is Pixel 7a and I think you should buy it. Here's why. Starting off with number one value. And I know, I know you're gonna say, well, what about the price? Like the price is $4.99. It's $50 more expensive than last year's Pixel 6a, which was released at $4.49. And we're already getting into Pixel 7 territory because that's priced at $5.99. It's a six month old device and it's a better device. As some may argue, like why are you trying to put out the value as a reason why someone should pick up Pixel 7a. Well, here is why $100 is $100. Uh, maybe some just don't wanna pick up Pixel 7. Some are just waiting to continue using the A lineup. Now, 6.1 inch 90 Hertz refresh rate display, which is an upgrade from last year. Uh, the 90 Hertz refresh rate, not the display size, but the refresh rate is upgrade from Pixel 6a. That's an extra feature they added. Eight gigs of RAM as opposed to six gigs of RAM with Pixel 6a, that's an upgrade. Same 128 gigs of storage. Tensor G2 on Pixel 7a as opposed to Tensor G1 on Pixel 6a. We're getting a new 64 megapixel rear camera, which is all new sensor as opposed to the 12 megapixel camera on Pixel 6a that Google has used for years. This also comes equipped with wireless charging. And that's a feature that a lot of people had asked for in the A lineup. It doesn't charge the fastest, I believe it's 7.5 watts, but it still has that feature. So if you're, you're sitting at your desk and you just wanna place your phone on a wireless charger, you can, and you know it's going to charge, even though it's slow. It also comes with four new colors. One color is Google exclusive, which is the coral, and that one looks really nice. But I went ahead and picked up the C right here, and I also like how the C feels, and it looks in the hand. It also feels more premium too. It has this aluminum framing. Uh, it also has aluminum camera visor. Uh, obviously, it's not one piece blended into the sides, uh, but it does have that plastic back. Th th that's okay. That is perfectly fine, but it has a lot of new features when compared to Pixel 7a, and I, I can see why they kind of uh, brought up the price by 50 bucks. Is it the greatest thing by bringing it up? No, everyone would want the price to stay the same or even drop it. I mean, with other Pixel devices, they were cheaper when they first came out. I, I get it but I still think it's a real, you're getting really good value with the A series and it continues with the Pixel 7a. And that's actually going to bring me to reason number two, which is the camera. You can't go wrong with Pixel cameras, whether it's the A lineup, the regular seven or six or the pro lineup. You can't go wrong with Pixel cameras. It comes with a new 64 megapixel rear facing camera. It's a larger sensor, uh, which means it's going to have, it's going to get in more light when you're taking the photos and it performs really well. It takes great photos. It's great for night sight. It's great for everything taking photos. It's a pixel device. You can rely on this when you're out on the go, when you're on vacation, when you need to take photos of memories of like your graduation or anything like that you can rely on Pixel 7a camera. Number three is going to be the software. Software is also a huge thing with Google. They're working really hard uh, with their Tensor chipset and their software working together using AI and whatnot, but it's a clean, minimal material use software with Android 13 out of the box. You're getting three years of software updates. So you can get Android 14, 15, and Android 16 with the Pixel 6a. It's been fluid. I've had no stutters, no lag whatsoever. Look, Tensor G2 is not the most powerful chipset, but I think it's one of the best chipsets that works really well with software. A chipset built from Google, working with software built from Google, that's, that's a good formula. You can't go wrong with Pixel software at all. Like overall, the package here, I think it's good. Like a, a normal consumer, I can go ahead and recommend, hey, new Pixel 7 is out on the market. Definitely check it out. Now, if you don't need those extra features, then Pixel 6a is still in the lineup. However, you're getting all those extra new features. It's going to last you longer. 
this is definitely Pixel 7a is definitely a device to check out. Definitely one you should probably buy. But that's really been it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to super mad the like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot. It will help push my content out to more people. And I'll be leaving links in the description down below of my latest wallpaper pack. It's called Wisp. But I'll also be leaving links uh, to the Pixel 7 down below if you do want to check it out. I did pick this up from Best Buy, and I also did get a $50 Best Buy uh, gift card, an e-gift card with the purchase of the Pixel 7a. It's $4.99, but if you activate it right now, at the time of this recording, uh, from Best Buy, it's $4.49. So it's like you really didn't pay the extra 50 bucks. You're just getting it at the same price when the Pixel 6a came out, which is pretty, pretty good. But that's been it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.